Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I always begin with these words. Or Welcome back my friends to the show that never ends. And this is uh, Robert from a famous singer group. We can start also saying uh, This is the job of today. Anyhow, anyway, comment, like, and subscribe. Subscribe is free. Doesn't hurt yourself. It's not infective. Makes me happy. Well, I was saying uh, a part of jokes. Uh, today, we have a new job to do. This car. Who knows this car? This is Ultima from Kyosho. This is one of my very first cars. Um, I had a friend, a friend from when I was a teenager, but at the end of the 70, beginning 80, we begin with radio control cars. He used to fly with radio control airplanes. I used to make both. But we discovered, not, not we discovered, the factory, the company, begins to make radio-controlled cars. Tamiya was the first, the best, the, 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 the most expensive, and Kyosho was a, a little bit more expensive, but much more technical. So, after buying two or three cars from Tamiya, one day I will show you my very first RC car. It was uh, <laughs> terrible, but we had a lot of fun. Anyhow, uh, we arrived to Kyosho and we bought two of these cars. Up today, I think it's still wonderful. The motor is here. All the weight is here, so in front is very light. Chassis aluminium, fantastic. And obviously we uh, bought every option parts. Dampers, dampers support, uh, fuel bar, front and uh, rear dampers rear, engine, what else, all, all what, ah, yes, see, universal drive shaft, ball bearings, we bought everything, and uh, we used it recently. <laughs> ago but I'm used to the modern car they were quite slow quite imprecise with the radio sometimes you have to follow the car because the signal is losing in uh, in 20 meters <laughs> ridiculous typical was the high of the antenna today we are we, we don't see anymore these things 
and uh, typical was checking the signal which frequency do you have uh, they make interference today we have no all these problems we have no the antenna on the radio catching in, getting in the eyes of your friend it's much easier and faster and uh, funny what do we want to do which is the project the project is to refit a little bit the car and do everything washing uh, uh, taking care and uh, fit the car with all the modern electronics i mean radio I have a fly sky but any modern radio is good then engine brushless ESC waterproofed for brushless engine this is to work on this for this car, I choose the uh, Chinese company. I have already used this uh, motor on my Subaru, and uh, I find uh, it uh, very, very good. Quite uh, inexpensive. It is uh, about uh, thirty dollars, thirty euro. Quite inexpensive. They save uh, five uh, fifty thousand RPM. I don't believe it. Yeah, it's slower, but it's a very, very, very good motor. For the money you pay, it's very good. I give you the no brand on the motor. No, yes, yes. There, there's a, there's something written on. What what is it? I don't never remember the name. F forty uh, five. Mm hmm. Waterproof. Uh, I write in the descriptions everything. If you want to buy it on Banggood, uh, you just have to wait two or three years to receive it. As I have ordered a wonderful uh, pickup, a little Chinese pickup at the beginning of September and up to now I don't have it and uh, um, they say uh, will be delivered uh, within uh, the 8th of January 2021 I'm not so happy but they are cheap, they make a good service and they have very good things at a, a reasonable price so stop speaking about this and start working So let's start. Take off the body. One, two, and three. You see, this is uh, about uh, 30, 35 years ago. I used to fix the clip on the body. Then, wings very dirty the bearing too you have to wash everything this is quite modern i have changed it uh, three or four years ago This is the engine. Before I mounted a gold one, then the gold uh, were, was not more performing, so I used this. This is less power, but it was uh, less used. Not good performance. Very nice engines, very technical, very, very old. We are speaking about 30 years ago, more than 30, 35, perhaps 40, near 40 years ago. These were 
very high tech for those times. Gears are in very good condition. Servo and receiver are very old. Samva, Samva servo. This is the first servo. This car was born with this servo. If I want to change the servo, I have this one. They are cheap but modern. Okay, we, we will decide. Thirty-five years, huh? we can say. Thirty-five years, can you imagine? Is life. <laughs> Here we need a hole for the screw. I will do. I do it now. And after more than 30 years of uh, very, very good service, I have removed it. Glorious servo. Slow, but you can trust. Never had problems. Okay go and wash accurately in order to wash this i use uh, several products uh, and uh, you have to be careful when you wash aluminium because uh, uh, some products uh, are too aggressive and aluminium becomes black other products are too aggressive on the opposite part and aluminium becomes too white uh, a little gray too white and spotted uh, and uh, it will be nice not nice so you have to do your experience return back when everything is uh, perfectly washed Everything is uh, washed, the body, wheels, uh, mechanical parts, uh, plastic, aluminium, Oops. <coughs> gears. Now we can start the work. First of all I will mount uh, this and to mount this as it is uh, a little bit high I have to open here uh, and uh, perhaps over the vent I will put a little piece of this in order not to let uh, little stones uh, and dust to go here inside and this is one second the the engine surpass hobby brushless motor mount pinion I will take the same pinion I, I used with the other motor then we will see if they we have to change it then uh, we have to mount the switch by this way the switch here over we have to take away this that is the old antenna holder battery here with these two straps then mount the servo the receiver I would like to mount here in order to take all the weight more in front as possible uh, obviously it's a little, little weight but millions are made with sand so after this uh, tires are a little bit um, they are not in uh, good condition but it's enough then what 
then when everything is connected we have to check if the car goes really faster all this work I will do in another video because uh, otherwise I think it is a little bit boring so the game starts uh, with the next video and by now comments like and subscribe thank you very much for viewing and uh, up to the next bye to you all